Do you need a storage solution which has got USB type A connectivity as well as USB type C? So you can connect, for example, a smart device to it, back up your data and then plug it into a traditional device like a desktop PC. Then this device may be for you. It's got USB type A connection on one side and it's got USB type C on the other. So packaging, well, there isn't really much to be honest other than this drug bag, should I say jiffy bag. It's just got basic information on there telling you one gigabyte equals so many bytes and so forth and the model number on the front. Otherwise, that's it. Inside there is a plastic bag, which the memory stick came in. And then you've got a nice keychain there if you want to use it. OK, so let's have a look at the device. The device itself is rated at running at 80 megabytes per second on the read and around 25 on the right. Obviously, we're going to do our own testing in a few minutes to see if that is correct. Otherwise, it's quite simple. There's no manufacturer marks on there. It's pretty basic, to be honest with you. You do have a little hole there to pull, plug in the little chain if you wanted to, and then you could hang it on your key rings or tie it to a bag or whatever. It has a little slider, so if you push one side, it shows you the USB type C connection, which you can connect up to a smart device, like a smartphone, tablet, and so forth. And then on the other side, if you push a slider, as you can see, you get the USB type A connection, which you'd plug into stuff like a PC, laptop, car, stereo, TV, and so forth. So you basically got connectivity options there both ways, and you'll be able to obviously transfer data quite easily using that. But as I said, there's not much to look at, but we're going to have a bit of testing done now. Okay, so down to testing, we've got the test results here. So I've tested it using the USB type C as well as the USB type A connection to see if there's any difference. We tested first with Atto on the read speeds. We were able to get roughly about 132 megabytes per second, which is a lot higher than the 80 they quoted. On the right, it's averaging around about 14, 15 megabytes per second, a couple of times jumping up to about 20 or 22 megabytes per second. So a little bit slower than it actually uh, says on the website or on Amazon. Now, if we use Crystal Disk Mark, you get slightly different results. So the read on here is 139 megabytes, which again, a lot faster than it's quoted. And the write is nearly 80 megabytes per second, which is far greater than it's quoted, which makes me question if that is correct because Atto's given a different score. So we actually ran H2 test W to get the actual proper speed copying. So this gives you an average speed over copy five gigabytes of data and we actually got in real life testing nearly 16 megabytes per second which isn't too bad to be honest with you but it's a lot lower than the 25 but again it's up to 25 so just bear that in mind but the right speed sorry the read speed which is the verifying section here as you can see is 124 megabytes per second which is a lot faster than was quoted on Amazon so well it's about 45 megabytes per second faster so it's really around about 50 percent better than quoted so that's really good we did the tests again with the usb type a connection and got basically exactly the same results as we did the first time using the usb type c so in reality i think this is more than likely the sort of speed you're going to actually get so if you're reading data so if you're going to be copying stuff off of the memory stick onto another pc or just looking at files on there it's going to be pretty quick at doing it 124 megabytes per second is very fast for a usb but the writing speed at 15 megabytes don't get me wrong it's not poor but it is quite slow for example to write five gigabytes of data it takes five minutes and 15 seconds to read it only takes 40 seconds gives you a rough idea i hope you enjoyed this video and know i did why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here otherwise you can give us a thumbs up like subscribe comment below let us know what you think and we'll see you next time